Hello everybody, my name is Miss Priest and today I'm going to talk to you all about Blukit. So first, what is Blukit? Blukit is a review game that you can play with your students or that your students can play by themselves to review content or reinforce content or Sometimes I've used Blukit as a diagnostic to see where they are before I teach a lesson. And sometimes I play it just for fun. There are some fun option games on there. It's very similar to games like Kahoot, Quizzes, Quizlet. It has so many different modes and different games. But in my opinion, right now in 2023, it is the funnest, newest game out there to play with your students. Now, there's a bunch of different ways you can play. When you get on BlueKit.com, the first thing you're going to do is log in or sign up. Um, for me, I just sign up with a Google. So a lot of times you can just have your students, if your school is a member of a Google suite, your students can just log in with Google or sign up with Google, and it's a very quick process. If you don't have Google Suite, you can just make your own BlueKit username and password to get into the game. Okay, so once you're in the game, you can discover or you can make your own game. I personally like to say work smarter, not harder. And there are millions and millions of games on Blukit that other teachers have already made. So I'll just search for a topic like parts of speech, different types of sentence structure, phrases and clauses, whatever I'm teaching in my class at that time. I will search for that topic and a whole bunch of Blue games will pop up that other teachers have already made. I'll click on that game. I'll look at the questions. If it's good, I'll use it just like it is. Or you can make a copy of it and edit some of the questions if you want to change one you didn't like, delete one, or add some more. You have that option. So you can create your own Blukit game entirely from scratch, or you can use an already made game, which is 90% of the time what I do. These games are so much fun to play. The kids love them more than any other educational game that I've played with them. I think one of the big reasons why is they can have their own Bluke, which are these little avatars. And if your kids sign up, which I really encourage you to have your kids have their own Blukit account, they can collect coins to get different and special blukes, and they really want to get the legendary blukes or the epic blukes. And then during Valentine's Day, they might have special edition blukes. So you really want to get your kids invested in it because it becomes a competition for those of you that have students who are competitive. They want to get those coins and they want to get those different blukes. Another thing that makes Blukit really fun for students is that it has so many different game options. When you click on a game, you're gonna see that you can host it live as a class. And then some modes, you can assign homework. So I use this mode a lot of times if I want my kids to practice a topic at home. They enjoy playing the game, getting the coins, and then sometimes, I'll, I'll assign a blue kit for homework, but I'll use it in my station rotations. So they might have a blue kit station where they will do the assigned homework for that game during that station rotation, during that 15 or 20 minutes that they have in their station. When you're done playing a game, it's going to give you a, a report. And there's a section where you can go to look at the reports of games that you've played. And during the rep on, on the report, rather, it's going to show you how many players, how many questions were correct, and how many questions you your students did not get correct. So that you can go back and reteach if you see a certain percentage of students that got really low in one specific area. It's a good way to monitor data as well. You can pull those kids to a small group and reteach that lesson. When you play a game, you can control how long the game is. You can decide if you just want it to be three minutes long, 10 minutes long. I really don't um, suggest going over 10 minutes long for a game because, you know, then it gets kind of not boring, but it does get kind of monotonous or, um, I don't know, tedious. So try to keep your Blue Kit games below 10 minutes 
or just assign them for homework or do them in the station rotation. The last thing I'm gonna tell you about BlueKit is to be, be aware of some of your students who know how to hack BlueKit. In today's time, these kids are extremely tech savvy. I mean, some of your kids don't even know how to log in, but some of your kids, they know how to do just the craziest things. They'll go on YouTube and they'll look up how to hack BlueKit, how to get a million coins on BlueKit, how to get all the blukes, how to cheat on BlueKit, they will look this stuff up and they will find answers to these questions. So I have had in my class students who, um, they'll join the BlueKit on one tab and then on another tab, they'll have a saved BlueKit game. I'm really not even sure how they do it yet. And they'll win every single time and they'll get like a million points. So be aware that some of your students are going to probably know how to hack BlueKit, and if they don't at first, they'll quickly learn. So you've just got to be really aware of that. And this is with all games that you play, especially with my middle school kids. Quizzes, Kahoot, Quizlet, BlueKit, they are going to go home, they have nothing better to do, and they're going to look up how to cheat on these games, and they're going to find ways. So please just be aware of kids that will know how to hack on BlueKit, um, pull them aside, talk to them and be like, hey, if you're going to do this, I'm not going to let you play with the rest of the class. And nine times out of 10, that will deter them. It just doesn't make it, explain to them, you know, how it doesn't make it fun for the other kids because they're ruining the game because they're cheating. And um, that'll usually knock it out. But unfortunately, you're still going to have maybe one or two that just are little booger butts and they still want to cheat. Anyway, Thank you so much for watching my video. Please remember to subscribe. If you have any questions about BlueKit, please ask me below in the comments. Don't forget to like this video, share it. And um, if you want me to review any more educational technology, just let me know and I will do that for you. Thank you so much.